Hey guys, it's Agustin Dilmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna continue the videos on visual effects craft with Magic Leap. As you can see, the video that is playing right now is showing you some of the effects that I created after making a really cool effect that was about 500,000 different particles. So what I'm gonna show you today is how we can create some of the effects like this. I'm also gonna be sharing you the GitHub repository so you guys can actually use it, download it, and try it on your own device. So let's jump into Unity and start looking at it. All right guys, so let me show you what I'm gonna be showing you today, which is different effects for Magic Leap developers, or if you're a VFX enthusiast, then this is going to apply to you as well. Or if you're like me, that you like to experiment with different technologies, then you're welcome as well. So what I have right now, I have different particles, one that is kind of like a blue with, with you know, different different types of blue. This one has a lot of physics and it's going, you know, I have turbulence added, I have uh, different, basically different components for physics that I'm gonna be showing you here in just a second. And then this one is basically comforting to what's called a cube. So as you can see, they're actually going in and it looks it looks like a cube so it's really cool to be able to see how how these look like as i show you in the beginning of the video so let me show you some of the some of the setup that i have right now so i have a folder called visual effects this is where the visual effects for each one of these are i try to label them as close as they you know as they resemble so the blue sphere is that one then this is actually the red cube it's not a sphere anymore so let me just go ahead and rename that because I'm going to be checking this into source control too. And you're gonna to want to get something that is named correctly. So this is gonna be the red cube. And then the last one, it's going to be this yellow rays. And the, the cool thing about this is I can tweak, you know, I put the three of them next, next to each other because I want to see how they look on the device, specifically during development. I wanna see how the blue colors look, how these colors look, and also how this one looks. And it was, it was a challenge to get some of the particles to render correctly. So I had to just run multiple different examples. So if we go and look at, let's go ahead and take a look at the blue one to start. And it's gonna click on it. And then what we're gonna do here is gonna double click it on the asset template so that we can also actually open the, the visual effect. And we have some really weird rendering issues. And I think this is part of the 2018, that 3.0. It works. You can just ignore it, but I think the particle system is trying to is trying to do a lot, and by doing a lot, it's, it's making the editor go crazy. But anyway, so if we go back in here, and what I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and focus on that particle effect. And what I'm gonna do, let me just make this one a little smaller so we can see the three, and then we can look at this one like that. And let me just move the project to that side. Also that to the side, there we go. And there we go. So now what we can do is look at a couple of the components that I have attached to each one of these. So let me go ahead and go ahead and disable the jello rays. And I think the jello rays was the one that was going crazy because it was making it was making everything else just it didn't look right. But anyways, so if we look at this one, I have a thousand, let's see, the ten thousand on the rate is what I assigned to this one. The capacity, I have it to 500,000. You can change it if you like to. I, for Magic Leap, this is the number that I, that I, you know, that came. It's actually too high, I think, still. But the particles render okay, but if you're making, you know, an experience, you probably want to look at some of those numbers. Of course, I could go up here, and right now I can set it to 5 million if I wanted to, because I have a pretty, you know, I have a pretty beefy machine that could render, you know, the. The five, the five million particles and no issues. But when you run on the device, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick with 500,000 because we're gonna be checking this into source control. I have also some, the lifetime is randomized between 4.67 and 33.61. I also have this uh, sphere, which is basically the initial position. So if I wanted to change the arc, just like I do in other videos, you can change the arc. If I wanted to change the, the radio size, I can also change the radio size. And let me just go ahead and save. And it's not, the changes are not very clear. 
because the particle, the forces are not as strong. So it, it takes it takes some time for me to be able to see the the changes unless I make changes to the physics, which is what you know mostly this is composed of. So if we want to change the intensity, I can change the intensity. You can see how that affects the affects the particle. So it's gonna change it back. I'm gonna hit Control S so that it basically resets. And then if I wanted to change, you know, any of these properties are gonna make it are gonna affect it. I can change the roughness. I can change the radius, the radius here on the of the particles. If I wanted to change the stick distance, I could do that as well. Or the stick force, I can do that as well. And there we go. So for the most part, I normally have the Comforto sphere associated with it for these type of particles and also the turbulence. So as you can see, the turbulence here, it's it's actually not too high. And that's the reason why you saw that the, the yellow rays go crazy is because these numbers were much higher. So if I wanted to make these numbers go much higher, we can do that and we can probably just change the intensity. You can see how the turbulence is, is applying turbulence to the particles. If I wanted to change the intensity, we can change the intensity and you know, as you can see that it's making changes to everything. I'm gonna hit save and you can see how that, let me go ahead and change this to be maybe about five, just like what I have. And what we can do is just undo what I just did and then hit save and then it's just gonna reset it. So comfort to sphere and then turbulence is what I have at it. And then for the colors, I have a gradient. So you can see here, if I wanted to change this to a different color, you know, we can change it to a different color. If I want to do a yellow or red or something like that, then you can do, it's going to go back to, to a blue type color. All right. And then the size over time, you can see some particles are a little smaller. Some other particles are, are much bigger. And, and the reason for that is because I wanted to, you know, have then change over life. So if I wanted to be much bigger, we can do that by just opening the graph. Let me make the graph a little smaller. So the way, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select and hit F. So we can go, and you can see how I can change the entire thing, or I can just select a point and then have them be really tiny. And you know, if I wanted to be very tiny, or we wanna go large and then small, we can do, we can do that as well. We're just changing some of the curves. We can do something like something like that, or we can just go back to being really small. So it starts to look cool when you start, you know, giving it a lot of particles. That's when the effects starts to come out. And for Magic Leap, like I said, you want to go, you know, much smaller than what we have. You can see how the particles are creating. They just create a really magnificent effect. We go back here. And then I'm just going to change this back to, let's go ahead and undo, undo, and then I'll just undo one more time, and then save, and there we go. So that's what we had before. So, and then lastly, I just have, you know, if I want to toggle between the us at size over life, I can do that as well. I see that creates a really cool effect as well. And I could basically change the size myself by now doing a curve. I could do something like that, or I can do, you know, if I want it to be much smaller, but make sure that you set the also the actual node. So we can do, you know, something like that. You can also change it by just, you know, selecting around this area. It's gonna give you a left and right arrow, and you can just left mouse click until you get until you're happy with the with the size that you're looking for. So I'm just gonna undo, and actually I'm just gonna go back here. And I'm gonna reset all the changes that I that I just applied. And modify, delete it. Let's just go ahead and do reset. And it's gonna reset everything, including the names that I just picked, but that's okay. Just reload everything, because I wanna go back to what we had. And then I'll just go back in here and reset this back to the, this is gonna be the red cube. So let's just make sure we name it the red cube. And then I'll go back into my project and that's actually already been modified, so that's perfect. But I do have a red sphere as well, so let's just go ahead and delete that one. And hit save, and I think this one is already associated with the other one, yep. Perfect, so now that you look at that graph, let's look at the one that goes crazy, which is the yellow rays. And I'm just gonna double click it. And that one I actually like really, I like it a lot, so let me go ahead and hide the other ones. 
Because right now we have one point, you know, one point five million particles. Let me just go ahead and hide all of them except for the one that we're going to be looking at. And I don't think I have that many particles in here, but it is, it is taking a performing hit. At least I can feel it by just let me go ahead and not select it. The thing that happens when you select it, immunity has a bug, and that's actually so. If I don't select anything. Because this has a really powerful graphics card. All right, so that's that's looking good. So yeah, if I wanted to go, if I wanted to go much, you know, many more particles. You can see that my graphics card is gonna be just fine. So let's go ahead and go back. So this one I have about the same. It's actually the same amount that I had on the other one, and just different settings on on some of the some of the particle nodes. Then specifically on this one right here, I I change it so that it look more. You know, it just it just had different it had fluctuation on how the particles were reacting. You can change the force if you wanted to, and if I wanted to change the radius and make it much bigger, you can change the radius. I went with a smaller radius because I wanted to I wanted to stay within proximity of the other particles. So you can play with this. You can change the radius of the comfort to sphere. No. And also in here, if you wanted to change, you know, how much of the drag you're getting, you can change that as well. You can see now the particles are going crazy. So I'm keeping it between negative four and nine, also almost 10. And that gives me a really cool effect. And in fact, if you look at the, if you look at this node right here, you can see how cool, how cool that looks. So that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you. Let me just show you the last one really quick. And I think, I think we can call it good. This one is just exactly what I had before, except that I did select a different type of positioning. So if we go back into it, into the graph, and we look at the positioning, I'm using an AA box, and that's why I'm getting kind of, you know, like a cube. If I wanted to change the size of the box, I could change the size of the cube, and then everything, you know, changes, changes with it. If I wanted to make it bigger, I can make it bigger. If I wanted to create, you know, more of a wall, I could change the C-axis to be really, you know, really small. You can see how the particles are trying to come back into place. But that's basically everything that I wanted to show you today, guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about anything that I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.